Good morning, this is Mostly Harmless Entertainment, and today I'm wanting to introduce you all to the backdoor hack that Game Labs has in this game for leveling up quick. Here we have a group kill mission. It is only allows three people in it. Rank two, so I'm in my Christian. Or lower, but why would you? Uh, our targets are one times rank one, four times rank two. So there's going to be five ships. These are our rewards, but the ultimate reward, if my suspicion is correct, will be a massive amount of experience. So it used to be. The secret to ranking up quickly in this game used to be, oh cool, um, you would take a Wasa out or a Ratvazan or whatever and you would attack something two ranks above you. Um, and it used to, you, you would get 3,000 experience for every, say if you attacked a victory, you'd get 3,000 experience for doing that. And doing that in the open world ranks you up to Admiral very quickly. However, as of 15th May, well, now, you will, if you kill a victory in the open world, you get the experience of its BR. So its BR is 400, you get 400 experience. So, there have been some changes. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why they're necessary. But they exist, and that's what um, Game Labs has decided is necessary to do. So, we do. We have four Pavels, one victory. And I am just one Christian, so... Should be fun, should be fine. I'm going to climb high in the wind and uh, try to convince this this line that's a little higher in the wind than me to come to my right side. And the strategy to this is we want these three Pavels to my right to be downwind of me. Okay, good, they're turning, they're coming. We want them to be downwind. Oh, another thing. Take Bravery 2. That perk will make your guns reload faster, give your ship greater speed, and help you in repair. So Bravery 2 is a really excellent uh, perk to have in this situation because I am... Bravery 2 only works when the enemy uh, has twice your battle rating or greater. And as you can see, they certainly exceed... 600, uh, 600 BR. All right. Line up for some sinks here. Only nine. Aha. Uh -huh. The gallant wave. Oh well. Do what you have to. I like how I haven't. Alright, here's our broadside damage. Wind break, see if I can. Uh, 
Alright. Who's next? You definitely have to be careful because, as you can tell, they can put out quite a bit of damage. So, you want to be upwind, you don't want to be surrounded by them. AI still struggles to uh, hold the wind. Especially when they're ramming each other. <laughs> All right, first the rudder, pick the boat around. Now, I am basically going to play the wind, and I am looking for shots of opportunity because of the way the game is you look for opportunity shots like this uh, Matthew Magon here is turning if you'll continue turning I will get a rake on it he's gonna continue turning didn't take out much of his armor but it certainly took out his structure those are the type of shots that make these missions go fast. I will begin wrapping in a little bit. Bowman Ken and the Victories presenting Stern. I doubt I'll get to shoot him because first rates for some reason just turn really fast nowadays. And start working on his turn. Oh, he's gonna let me hit him with the... Turn, get the... Ah, oh, miss. I was too late in firing. Oh, well. Oh. Damage the rudder. That explains it. Roman Kent again, presenting Stern. Now, if you get too far from these guys, they'll just form up in a pretty little line. So you do need to keep them turning somewhat confused. Roman Kent's presenting again, and I definitely want to see if I can hit that stern shot. Over the deck. And, yeah, that helped. Put the 16s into him. Oh. Now, that was a bad shot. But where? You can still bounce in this game, but it's at a much more extreme angle. Yeah, if you just keep going in one direction, uh, the AI will figure out how to match your course and just pummel you. You gotta, you gotta turn and be forcing them to turn because they have a, they have a combat metric. They've gotta maintain a certain range. And let's see, anyone wanna?
nice of him to be oh here we go here's a battle shot come on ready to ship no oh, all right we'll go for the Wave, get out of the way, get out of the way, wave. Oh, he is gonna turn for me. We'll slow down. No, oh, he rechanged his mind. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten leaks. I don't think that's enough time to start the repairs. So bravery two makes it so you repair faster. Ooh. Stern shot here. Lots of stern shots. Just need the guns up. We'll go past, try to hit the stern and do George H. Vene Chabert. Bravery 2 makes your guns load faster and they boost your repair. I'm not going to get Chabert, but maybe I can leak him again. Uh-huh. Six leaves, seven leaves, eleven leaves. That might sink him. Use some more. No, no leaks that time. Let's swing this way. I want my repair to come up faster. I really should have taken that stern shot. Okay. Or he's going to present stern. Julius spout. This is the game. This is you just you just look for trick shots. You're not actually just trying to do the Nelsonian thing of laying alongside uh, enemy broadside and sinking. Now you're just trying to trick shot. I call it trick shot. Other people call it the way the game has always been, which uh, as a solo PvPer, I can tell you. <clears throat> suck at trick shots like leak sinks. Nah, three more leaks. That may do it. We'll see if he's repaired them all. Alright, now I've actually come down into the middle of them. I want to turn away and uh... Should have taken the bow shot, but... Group kill missions are a lot easier with a another player, but then you're having to share experience. And the point of this is to get experience. And he's repaired all his leaks, how unfortunate. Another thing, as far as I know, you cannot be Loki in a group kill mission. So it's, if I'm correct, Game Labs has made a risk-free, you know, other than losing your ship. I mean, do be careful in this. But other than losing your ship, you have a risk-free way of making a lot of experience 
even some doubloons too. They generally drop not not as much as open world, but they do drop doubloons. This guy. Rusty. Try that again. Yeah, I have seven minutes to my next rep. Working on Roman Kent's ar front armor. Find my range. Try to get better at this raking business. There we go. Fire as soon as the battery bears. have some more fix that this apple big guns 24 pounders and 42 let's go I mean straight at me that's perfect just lost the pump come on 42s in my ship! Quit damaging my rudder feet. Bounced a lot of the victory shots. Let's see if I can get all victory to turn. He's turning. I don't think I'll get the Vic bow, but maybe I can get Jorge's bow. Jorge needs to lose some bow armor. Engine shot. Bad aim. Oh well, time to tack over. Make these guys turn again. And as soon as my repair is ready in four minutes, I'm repairing again. Once you start repairing, you might as well just keep it going. Wind is shifting, so let's go for Solomon. Solomon's bow is open. His bow is armored still, but his stern is open. I'd love to get a chance to shoot Matthew again. Those two of those ships can't really hit me now because they're behind the bear. Maybe I get the leak sink this time. I really suck at leak sink. 
Yeah, that should have been lower. Alright. Yeah, it's it's a uh, game of line ships where no line ship sails in a line. <clears throat> we just do this breaky maneuvering to get rakes. Very frigate-like. Nelson would be turning over in his grave. So would Pelu. What? Happened when and not not it's hard to get a good rake when you're that close. But maybe I can uh, choose who can I rake? Let's turn this way, see if I can. as good as I needed. Maybe I get another go at this guy. Thirty-three seconds to rep. My guns come up. You gotta time your leak shots so that the waves don't eat your cannonballs and it lifts him out of the water like that. Only 16, that will not be enough to sneak him. The way the game is currently balanced now, uh, no single ship can overpower your repair amount. So as long as they're not all wailing on me, I'm pretty safe. I just keep my repair burning. Hello, Roman. Shovel the gun. See if I can do... That's uh, gonna be rough. I don't think so. He'll cross. He'll cross twos again. Wave one to go past and lift him. Oh, one more leak. 
not enough. Two more leaks. Attack through. Now he's going to be downwind of me. I'll get more chances to leak shot here. Nice attack. Should keep forward momentum. Attack all the way through. Out this is for a moment. Is this gonna be a bow shot? This is gonna be a bow shot. Twenty eight through bad Amy. Every ship fires a little differently and with practice, you get to know it. I haven't sailed the Christian that much in the last two months. I'm doing really good at. There goes the rudder again. Come on, let's put another 16 engines in now. Aim too low. Trick shots, that's what I tell you. And yes, I, I'm a bad shooter. It's just, anyone who's a better shooter will, will do this much faster. But to pay off really well in the in, in this mission, if you can shoot better than me and get these trick shots in, it'll pay better. Uh, I mean, I'm uh, here we go. My favorite shot. Let's see if I can break it. Ah! 40 through. Damage rudder. I'll take it. That's what you want to get on a rake. Is about 40 guns through. Christian has 90 guns, I believe, so got most of them in. Three leaks. His rudder is jammed. I may be able to rake him because his rudder is jammed. He has to continue turning. But it's going to be a close thing. Ah, uh, rudder's repaired. Okay, who. Who do I get to shoot now? All the first rate, second rates are. this up that maybe I can put another 10 in with my next round and sink the guy sink a ship that's not moving, okay? You can put leaks in them. You just wait for the waves to expose their hole below the waterline and fire into it. I've had it done to me by my clan leader. 
safety and safety. But I was impressed. I wasn't moving, wasn't healing at all. He just put the leak in. Just wait for the waves. Oh! Ha! That's another uh, thing. If you, uh... He's not down. He... I need to, um... Put more leak in for that one. If you turn your graphics down, some people may feel that it's easier. It, of course, I mean... When you're talking about a, you know how War Thunder, you turn your graphics down, it's similar. Oh come on, expose the bow. Give me wave action. Let's go. Maybe I should just go for rakes. We just go for rakes. Eaten by the stern of the hobble in front of me. I uh, did some. That's just what naval action is nowadays. Just a bunch of trick shots. It takes a long time to kill a ship through trick shots when you're fighting five, but also takes a long time to um, <laughs> kill them if you're trying to go through the broadside. I mean, you wouldn't complete this mission, and I'm pretty sure I'll get. All of them sunk here before the mission expires. Up. Oh. Jorge just lost most of his structure, so. He's going to sink out with that much. I'll put a few more shots into him just to make sure he goes down, but... Repair in 2 minutes, 48 seconds. Ow. Actually got a rake in on me. Back over. I'm going to put some more shots into these gentlemen. Alright, Matthew's down, and just like that, two of them are going to sink in rapid succession. Get my pump. Tack the boats over so that they don't get free rakes on me. Get our crew up. Dubs, repairs, dongrees. I don't do shallow water much, but <laughs> with what they have done to the accuracy of carronades, which I mean, they needed to mess carronades because carronades. They reduce hit points of shallow water ships so greatly that if your carronades were as powerful as they used to be, you know, if they did maximum damage and they were um, aimable, actually, where you could hit a target, broadside of a barn, uh, battles would be over in like two minutes instead of the 12 that they normally last now. Reducing carronade damage and accuracy uh, was definitely required. Twenty-eight seconds to repair. Yeah, because I need to repair. All right, let's do this one. More repairs. Yeah, we used to have to craft repairs. You don't have to do that anymore. But let's get it so that they can't keep eating my stern. They're actually wearing away at my structure. There's my next 
repair. Let's do a speed wrap. Where I turn guns off. And... I see a trick shot if I can make it happen. Turn that gun off. No sink. All right. That's just what you gotta do in this game. Wait for someone to turn in the wrong way and then end a perfect shot on their broadside and finishes them off. Now, it's great for PvE. Okay? If you can do it. And you can... I took out 12 ships doing this last night, solo. They had like 2,100 or 2,300 battle rating to my 400. I was in my Laotian. And, um... I got about that equivalent experience. 2,300, whatever it was. But, it is no fun in PvP to have that happen in a port battle where you are having to turn... To avoid someone and then somebody behind you, you know, an enemy behind you just lands a, a lucky shot. That's not fun because then you just disappear. No fun, no more fun for you. Goodbye. And the really good players, I mean, you're in your, I had an ADR and uh, there's a player in this game that, um, Runs all Navy guns or Bloomfield, whatever. Had a lot of damage on him is what I'm trying to say. Um, it only took him like four or five broadsides and uh, I lost my Admiral Derider. And the Admiral Derider is a ship that you, you work a long time to get that ship. It is not easy to get an ADR. Alright. If he wants to. And so he got it because he was able to uh, demass me in two broadsides. And then he graped me through my stern. So he opened up my stern with one broadside, demasted me, graped me, then boarded me, and there went my ADR. Um, that's just the price that we average players pay for. Um, not being able to afford great ships and uh, only being average players. We're food for the people who have 15, 16 alts and ran trade routes when trading was a thing and was able to make a billion esk a day. I mean, esk. <laughs> There's my Eve terminology. A billion reals a day from trading. Which I have never seen it done. I'm just reporting what other players have told me because they were on Discord with a guy making that many reals. Um, I mean, I'd like to say it's not possible, it's hubris, but I've heard these reports about numerous different players. And when you hear it time and time again, it makes you start to think there's a little bit of truth to that. Now, they have nerfed trading recently, but... Uh, no leaks on that. Nerfing trading does uh, new players absolutely no good because... The rich dudes uh, still have their reals. And they still have their rare guns. Which we average players tend to not sail ships that are rare wood rare guns because you know, we don't have 16 alts where it's easy for us to make lots and lots of money.
Yeah, half of my shot went past him, 30% went past. Alright, 50 minutes in. Three of the ships dead. Could be getting a wind shift soon, that would help me. Lack of anything better to do. I think the wind is shifting. The wind does a hundred and eighty degree shift every twenty minutes. So it starts 15 minutes in, and it completes it by the 20 minute mark. So every 20 minutes, the wind is going to be from the opposite end of the compass. Uh, it's um, very realistic. I mean, this happens all the time in thunderstorms. And uh, battles, of course, on the open sea with uh, first rates that cost 25% of the um, country's... Uh, domestic product they always took the, uh, these expensive war machines the most complex machine of their time they always took them out during thunderstorm events it was seen as the uh, principal test of whether the ship was uh, seaworthy is if it could survive a thunderstorm then it should be able to survive a mere battle The ocean, after all, is a far more dangerous enemy than a uh, uh, cannon shot. Except in uh, naval action, ocean isn't modeled. And I swing in a miss. Yeah, I got two leaks, but still. I'm not very good at that uh, leak shot. I, as an average PvP or an average player, really preferred the game when you had the option of just sinking them through their sides because it it gave me the option of doing a basic maneuver when I couldn't get a leak shot or a mass shot. I used to just demass people with ball but can't do that anymore. Yes, if I s wailed on this guy for another 40 minutes I could sink him through his side. But, um, I don't have 40 minutes. I gotta get something going on. But this guy's maneuvering and I can get on that stern. Which is hard to do because the fewer ships there are, the less they maneuver. And, ironically, a first rate can turn through the wind faster than a second rate can turn with the wind. That's just the physics of the game now. He will gain some sort of super maneuverability buff when he um, gets pointed into the wind and he'll just spin like a top. And Leotians, the really the big ones, bigger than the Vic. I mean, the Victory is a maneuverable first rate historically, but Lo Sin, whoo, it will really spin like a top. Right, so he's going to turn because he doesn't want to give me his um, stern and I'll be forever chasing it. So I'm going to try for a leak shot again. See if I can get lucky. Alright, wave pattern, wave pattern, not good. No, wave pattern is not good. Smoke's not good. That might have worked, but I really... Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Only three. Alright, so I'm with the wind. He's almost into the wind. Not quite into it. He's still turning in. Uh, he's decided to turn the other direction. Well, I have no choice but to continue. And, you know, he's battle sail. I'm full sail, but somehow they get great maneuverability. Incidentally, these ships historically would never, ever tack into the wind. I mean... Fleets would stay in harbor for weeks before they set sail from port, waiting on good wind, good weather to reach their destination. Because tacking a bunch of line ships through the wind was a bad, bad experience. I mean, men had to move these yards. First rate yards had the most canvas, the most weight. So, um, these guys had thousands of crew members. You did not want to, and thousands of crew members for three watches. When you're on a Navy ship in this period, everyone's working in shifts. Alright. What can I do here? Leak him? I'm gonna have to try to leak him. Uh, Definitely missed time that one. Come on. No. Alright. I think a name mod would be great. Dev should authorize it make this game so that, or just make it so you don't have to aim, the computer aims for you. Just like AI. You put it on a, put it on an iPad and a bunch of nine-year-olds can run around pretending that they're sailing legends. This game has departed reality so much, you might as well probably fix the whole problem with not having a community, you could get hundreds of little nine-year-olds in here. Now his rudder's out, but that's about all. Don't worry, he'll get it repaired before I can do anything. If only I were good at this. I could sink them in minutes. And then I, too, could be rich, like all the other players who... Full new players. Yeah, I know. One leak. And yeah, yeah, this game right now, the AI just turned, we just turned, it's just a game of... Waiting for the perfect leak shot, or waiting for the perfect break. The May patch has really slowed the game down that much. It's, it's really become a real slog. Or, you can board. Might be an option. So the point of this exercise is to see if there is a way for you to quickly rank up. Because getting multiple alts to Admiral, often the compensation and gifts and like uh, new um, lo secure locker chests on the free to play server 
are rank contingent, so having lots of alts that can get those rewards gives you an advantage. You used to get 4,000 experience in the open world, and apparently the devs have moved it to these silver chest missions, um, these group kill missions. So that's what we're testing to see if we get an inordinate amount of experience from sinking five ships. And of course, the faster you do this, the better you shoot, the more leak sinks you get, etc. The better it will go for you and the faster you'll rank up. And my understanding is there's no way for them to Loki you. You can even pull these missions in the safe zone. So you could fit out a ship just for grinding. It doesn't have to have PvP mods, just give you outright damage or whatever. Alright, so we got him to leak, got him to slow down, break them. See if I can capitalize on this. Okay, he will sink. Now, um, AI in these fights do not generally give you very much loot. Yeah, I describe naval action as a rakey rakey leaky leaky boardy boardy game. It is no longer the uh, sail in a line formation, which was, you know, took discipline. Cover each other in the line formation, which took discipline and coordination. And broadcast fire at a single target, which took discipline and coordination. Which, you know, entire clans, um, trained to perform. Now it's just, really just get lucky and do these uh, trick shots. You know, get the leaps, get the rakes, get the boards. Uh, and I guess there's nothing wrong with it if that's your jam. Um, and that's how the devs want to do it. It's just this game launched in 2019 on Steam, and for three years it was. All about broadcasting damage to people's broadsides, like a beautifully detailed, realistic, naval, age of sail game would uh, norm be expected to be. I mean, it used to be we protected our broadside, which was hard to do, because obviously it's very easy to hit a broadside. Now, uh, you just have to protect your bow and your stern, because your broadsides are... So much hit points and the gun damage had been nerfed so greatly that um, shooting at a broadside is really pointless. I have been in over 30 um, port battles since uh, this patch was implemented and I have yet to find one <clears throat> participant, friendly or otherwise, who died through the broadside. That's how extreme and radical the game has shifted. Is no one dies through the broadside. Now, okay. Um, if you're in a first rate and you're fighting a fifth rate or a fourth rate, yeah, you can kill them through the broadside their hit points are so much less and you have so much more firepower being a first rate with 42 pounders and some of the DLC first rates are 36 and 32 pounders yeah so they have a firepower advantage over the crafted ships but um yeah if you're in a big ship you can sink little ships to the broadside 
Otherwise, you just have to do the reiki reiki leaky leaky or board them. Okay. Now, oh, the moment of truth. Um, so, if we were going to calculate how much experience... So, victory is 400, Pavels are 300, so 3 times 4 is 12, and the victory is another uh, 400, so that's 1600 experience, let's see what we get. A little more than 1,600 experience. Okay, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen and gamers. If you really, really want to uh, rank up fast, you take out group kill missions, you spend an hour in them, and you get double the experience that you would get in open world. This game hack brought to you by Mostly Harmless Entertainment. I hope it's been helpful.